together in Waikiki. This is for the Women Entrepreneurs Conference. And among them, Denise Woodard. She is the Partake Foods founder and CEO. She's also the keynote speaker at the event. If you don't know about Partake Foods, let me tell you about it. It's very impressive. Thanks for being here, Denise. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Uh, you know, just for people who may not be familiar with your company, this is a multi-million dollar company that brings allergy-free foods, especially cookies for kids, right? Yeah, so my daughter has lots of food allergies. I was very frustrated with the lack of things that I could find for her. And so I left my job in corporate America to start Partake. And what started as me selling my engagement ring and selling cookies out of my car to fund the business <laughs> has thankfully grown into something something much larger now. Well, you're selling to all kinds of Ben & Jerry's, American Airlines, you're all over the place. Yeah, we've been hard at work trying to meet our consumers where they live and work and play. Um, here you can find us at Safeway, Target, and Whole Foods. So for women out there, we know that business owners all face challenges, but I feel like women, especially of color, face particular challenges. Do you, do you agree? I think the statistics don't lie. When we look at capital funding for businesses, women raise less than 2% of venture capital funding. Black and brown women raise less than 0.41%. And so um, while we've made a lot of progress, I think there's still a tremendous uh, way to go in terms of uh, having equity for women founders. What about for your journey? Because obviously very successful in a short amount of time to be able to build this company so, so gr in such a successful way. Uh, what would you say to women out there who want to take the same or similar path? I think if you see a problem, you identify a problem that you know needs to be solved and you feel like you're uniquely qualified to do it with a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work and a lot of asking for help where you need it, anything is possible. I had never done anything like this. I never dreamed I would be an entrepreneur um, and somehow, some way it came together. I think some of the challenges is convincing, you know, when you go into those rooms, it's intimidating, those VC firms and say, mm -hmm. I want your money. How do you prepare for something like that? I think, you know, go where you're celebrated. And so I know my business inside out, so that's really important. But also, like, going to people who understand what you're building, why you're building it, who appreciate it, who appreciate you. I think, um, you know, we want to make sure there's not a mismatch of energies there. And so I definitely try to be myself, try to be loud and proud about we want to make a good business, but we also want to do good in the world while we're doing that. And hopefully, you know, we've been fortunate enough to find investors that have come along for the journey and have raised about $25 million today. And very impressive stuff. Uh, this is why Denise is the keynote speaker at the Women Entrepreneurs Conference that's coming up tomorrow. There are dozens of female leaders who are going to be there to talk about their own experiences. And um, I know that so many of these leaders really want to help other women. Do you have any plans of what exactly you're going to talk about? Is it about more about the numbers? Is it more about operations? I'm going to talk about the improbable road uh, that can lead you to success and how I found that and the, what the journey has looked like for me, but also how I think that's applicable to so many women, to so many women of color who may not have experience, who may maybe never started a business before. So excited to, to chat tomorrow. I know you mentioned you started this because of your daughter. Did she manage to come to Hawaii with you? She is back at home in Los <laughs> Angeles at school, so I am enjoying the island myself. Okay, would well, you enjoy your time here? We appreciate you coming here on Sunrise to talk about this. Thank you so much for having me, Grace. All right, let's get it back to Guy.